God saves us from every conceivable corner of culture and context. He then puts his spirit within each of us so that we're drawn toward one another, even though we may be complete opposites in every way. And then we arrive at an assembly of believers, most of whom we've never met, most of whom are strangers. We come with this this thing happening inside of us, this new truth that's beginning to burst forth from our heart. We wanna sing to Christ. We wanna honor Christ. We long for sweet fellowship. And we come looking for someone who will let us tell them of what Jesus is doing in our life as they tell us what he's doing in theirs. And we want help with our afflictions. And when a pastor stands up or Brian Irby stands up, he says, stand up, we're gonna sing. We just get up and sing. It doesn't have to be on Sunday morning. Our age group is everyone. It's the the assembly. Every activity that the Spirit of God designed for the corporate assembly and into which he's pulled everyone on the Lord's Day is a unique sanctifying power for the believer. Participating in the local church is something that's essential and that discipleship is not optional. And so if you combine those two things, that implies that discipleship must be part of my life. And so going back home, what I'm going to definitely do is seek how I can implement that truth in my life and seeking other guys out to disciple. My biggest takeaway from conference this year um, would be mainly about fellowship. Before, I mainly thought of fellowship as like, you know, just like friends hanging out together or, you know, something like that. But then after this conference, I realized how important it is to have fellowship because it's not just we get together, we also act as, uh, uh, like we kind of like help each other out with discipleship and all that. Um, So if like one guy is struggling somewhere, we can help him out and we can pretty much mentor him in a nutshell.